Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Yesterday on June 28th, the Deep Springs area experienced two notable earthquakes. Uh, one of them, they sent out a shake alert. A magnitude 4.8 earthquake struck at 7.37 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time with its epicenter approximately 9 kilometers or 6 miles southeast of Deep Springs. And that would be this one right there. It had a depth of 4.2 miles. Um, a shake alert system was activated and the quake was felt in the Owens Valley region. Um, a magnitude 4.1, which they downgraded to a magnitude 3.9, or 3. Point, yeah, 3.9, uh, was followed at 8.56 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time with the epicenter 7 kilometers southeast of Deep Springs at a depth of 6.9 miles. These, um, these earthquakes were reported as light shaking on the mercantile shake um, standard of a, of a 4. No significant aftershocks or damage reports were noted, but the activity highlights the region's ongoing seismicity. Deep Springs lies in a tectonically complex area where the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate interact primarily through strike-slip faulting. This area does have the potential to produce an earthquake up to a magnitude 7.0 or higher, though it has not ruptured significantly in recent history. Geological studies indicate that this fault is active with evidence of past surface ruptures. Its uh, proximity to Deep Springs makes it a primary concern for local seismic hazard. And let's see, I got the different faults drawn out here for you. Here we got the Fish Lake Valley Fault. I got the direction uh, that this other um, block fault is moving. We got the White Mountain Fault Zone. And over here you can see how, I hope you can see, how I have it drawn out the different directions when the strike-slip earthquakes occur. 136 people sent in reports said they felt this magnitude 4.6. Um, the shake map, let me bring it over, shows intensity level 5, but the felt reports said 3. The moment tensor ball shows how the fault moved going towards the north. The T is the areas of tension, and the P is areas of compression. In this diagram, the arrangement suggests a normal faulting mechanism characterized by extension along the T axis, typical horizontal, and P axis were vertical for pure normal faulting. Here we have the felt reports. Looks like we got it as far as Carson City, Nevada. And as far south as um, we got Las Vegas, intensity level 2. And then down here, um, Porterville, intensity level 3. And also Springville, uh, Springville intensity level 2. Here we have the magnitude 3.9 that followed afterwards. And we got the shake alert that went out. You can see that there. Uh, 26 reports saying it was felt. And then the moment tensor ball, again indicating strike slip going towards the north. They have uh, tension here on the uh, western side. Again, this one here shows felt reports as far as Carson City and as far, well not quite Las Vegas we got Pahrump yeah they have a lot of earthquakes in Pahrump I've been tracking that for several years and then to the west here uh, Mariposa wow did you feel these earthquakes yeah put your information down below how long did it last what did the motion feel like Looking at the moment tensor ball because the fault moved going towards the north here. 
tension applied on the west for this one and basically the same for the 4.6 yeah I would expect more earthquakes yeah because tension is going to be applied yeah probably up in this direction uh, northwest a little bit it looks like this here is the 3.9 so going back to Google Earth here you can see that fault line and here's the location and to the west over here now this fault line here that would be let me pull this up so you can see it yeah the white mountain fault zone it is part of the eastern valley shear zone it's about 60 miles long this fault zone right here and extends to montgomery pass to the north here you can see bishop there really hasn't been any historical earthquakes in this area other than in 1986 there was a magnitude 6.2 let me bring that up a little bit so you can see it better total damage from that earthquake was uh, 2.7 million dollars so yeah you just don't know where will the next one be anyways that's all I have for you right now oh, we'll just have to keep watch and see yeah so did you feel it and how long did it last was there any indication prior to this earthquake interesting they sent out a shake alert uh, thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and i will talk to you later god bless you